Hi, we're Amber and Tony M. We bought a canal boat in 2019, just before COVID, and this is the journey and adventures of our first trip back. This week starts off with Tony and Penny, who is on the boat next to us, their birthday. So we went out and had a shared lunch with another couple from one of the other boats on the yard. And we went down to the steps in St. Usage and had a beautiful lunch with some local specialties. Um, Oof and Muret and Mool Frit, which is the mussels and fries. Fantastic day. Didn't get much work done though. The next day was Tuesday and it was Penny and Matthew's big day where they were to be launched and so we all watched in eager anticipation as to their boat leaving the yard and they are heading off up north um, to have a wonderful holiday and we will miss them terribly. It's very close to the boat next door so it's a matter of trying to get, get them out because they pack them in. very very close oh my gosh Let's see how close it is to the other one Now that Penny and Matthew had gone, we were straight into getting the hull prepared for our painting job. Tony's still hard at it. He's bought this little sandblaster and he's sandblasting the bottom of the boat. It's going very well. This is the, the result of the sandblaster compared to this. So he's done really well. Just makes the job so much easier. He's down to the last of his sand for the day, so he's just put it into a little bottle just so he can use the last bit. But the whole thing works off the Karcher water blaster, so it's actually a really cool little system um, that we've really has saved us a lot of time, and or saved Tony a lot of time and effort. That night we went down to Penny and Matthew's boat down on the steps and uh, had a couple of wines to celebrate being in the water. Then the next morning on our usual croissant run we uh, popped in to say goodbye and wish them safe travelling for the next few months. Tony spent the morning fitting the panels for the back walls but we did need to sort out the bolts behind the walls as they had no washers and these are for the big fenders on the outside and we really needed to get some sealant and fit them properly. Oh, that's good. That's a good job done. Mm. I'm going to have some lunch, eh? Yeah, sounds good. On our way for lunch, we noticed this boat in the yard that must have hit something awfully hard. Take a look at those propellers. 
After lunch, Tony was straight back into it, grinding the metal foot for the uh, rudder, and um, I was onto the curtains trying to fit them. So once Tony had finished grinding it, he, the propeller he then uh, painted with an anti-rust agent and then he was straight on to sanding the hull. It's just unbelievable, he just doesn't stop. Well, we're still sanding and grinding. <laughs> it seems to be a never-ending job. Um, but going really well and I think potentially it's going to be really good. It's just um, a bit of hard physical work at the moment. That night I needed a little bit of an art relief so I managed to do a little postcard. So this morning I'm just um, wiping out with acetone all the grinds that I did yesterday and um, the day before of all the big gouges that were on the boat with acetone and making sure they're really nice and clean back to the um, glass and making it look really, you know, make sure it's really clean. And then I'm doing a little coat of resin just to give it some, a really good key and then we're going to bog them with the epoxy resin bog thing, whatever that mixture is, I don't know, Tony's in charge of that. Um, so that's our plan. Tone's sanding the stuff we did yesterday as a tester. It's worked out really well, so we're on to it today. Well, I managed to get a painting pass this afternoon. Tony's, I've left him pondering on the fridge, trying to make the fridge a solar fridge. And I was just in his way, so he said, go off and have a paint, which I wasn't going to turn down. So, just cycling along beside the river. And it's just lovely, there's kids in swimming, old guys fishing. It's just such a different pace here. It's so beautiful and just gentle. It's really lovely. So I'm going down to this lock that I went to the other day. All these old boats which I thought I'd give it a go. So I'll see you later. A bugger. My drink bottle has spilt so I've quickly grabbed everything out of my bag but I'm here anyway. So this is the end of the um, lock where all the other boats are on the other side. And this is all closed off but I think I might just do a quick sketch here to start with. And then I've got a local boat going past, chugging up the river. Beautiful day. going well just enjoying the moment it's so peaceful it's absolutely just glorious well it's now seven o'clock at night and I've been here for about three hours so I don't know if you can see what I've done Hard to see to both hold my hand far enough. But it's been absolutely beautiful. I have so enjoyed it. It's been just heavenly. Just so peaceful. The light is just stunning. 
cycling home from my painting day, which was wonderful. Feeling very blessed. Pretty exciting. Hopefully today we get to put some paint on today on the hull, so that'll be really good. Um, I've just been doing last final little bits of filling and getting it all really nice smooth tones being quite gentle as usual but that's all good and um, so we're just going to I'm just wiping just wiping it down and then we'll be ready to paint awesome Em is finally doing some work. <laughs> Tony has done all the preparation, I have to say. I have done very little preparation. This is something that I can do. <laughs> So this paint hopefully locks the old surface with the new top coat. So while I've been downstairs painting, Tone's been busy upstairs. This is the back of our fridge. He has pulled out all the innards and put a new system that is changing it from 240 volt to a 12 volt solar powered fridge. And so that's gonna go back over in that hole over there. So um, it's all going very well and he's quite happy. And that'll make it much better because then we'll be able to do our green banking, which also you know, makes it a lot nicer to do. Cool. Well, it's now 6.30 at night and I've just finished the first coat. It's been a long day. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit better than it was. So this is the tie coat that, that connects the fiberglass to the undercoat that we'll do next. So that's tomorrow's job. On our way back to the boat this morning. Nice and early. Lots to do today. It's been really interesting. There's been so many people working on their boats. It's part of the atmosphere of working on the yachts down here. Is everybody's got the same desire to to get their boat ready for the season. We've got sort of boating history in our upbringing and things like that. And um, everyone's got the same end goal. It's really lovely. Good morning. So today, um, we, well yesterday we painted our first coat of uh, tie coat, undercoat to the hull. So, <clears throat> but we've got a slight dilemma because we weren't quite organised and we keep forgetting that everything gets shut here. That um, we didn't get the black that we were going to go over top of this. So we're going to do another coat. And if you can see here, we've got this piece that we sanded that, because the the blue went all the way up here. This is the actual water line here, and the blue went all the way up here. And we want the, water, the white to come down to here again so that the boat looks deeper in the water. Um, and so I wanted to return this to white. We haven't got any white undercoat. And so I'm gonna paint the silver up to there. So hopefully tomorrow when the shops are open, we can get some white and the white will cover, hopefully. And um, at least it'll have the undercoat, the proper undercoat underneath, and it'll all tie together and bond together. So that's my plan today. I'm doing another whole coat again. Well, Tony's just doing a bit more masking and um, hopefully it'll all look beautiful by the end of the day.
Tony has just come down. He is so excited, he even did a little dance. Um, he has just worked out how to get the fridge going and it's all working and he is so happy. He is so clever. I am very happy. And um, just a shame he's a bit shy <laughs> and won't come on camera. <laughs> but very exciting. We now can do our um, green banking, which is fantastic. So that's it for this week thanks for watching if you enjoyed it press the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe as well that'd be even better and we'll see you next sunday bye